you got to love that. Yeah. you got to love that. He's writing my campaign track. Is he? Bowie? Yeah. Uh, that was uh, Joe the Lion from Heroes Album, which I think means nothing, that track. It's one of those songs he just made up as he went along, I think, but it's a great song. Yeah. Sounds great. We have with us Josie Lawrence, a big Bowie fan, and I tell you yeah. for why I know this, because <laughs> Bowie's probably the best gig he played last year, I believe, was at the Shepherd's Bush Empire. Yeah, it was. No, okay. yeah, oh, no, the was Odeon. it? The Odeon. Yeah. The Odeon, which used to be the Hammersmith Odeon. It's now called Labatt's Odeon. Or something it? like that. The Apollo. It's, anyway, it's a big... The Apollo. Great gig, apparently. Fantastic. I it had came... some tickets. I couldn't go. Mm-hmm. I, ga- I gave my tickets to Josie. I didn't just give them to him. I biked him over to her. Yeah, yeah, you did. And you didn't phone the same thing. I phoned Fiona. No, you didn't. Oh, sh- didn't I? And I know your mum listened to the show, and she's now, she's now thinking... I bought her better than I that. I thanked you when I next saw Not you. Not the point. At the Peter... Mm. Months later. I'm ever so sorry, you know. I well, was thanking you in my okay. heart. Well, I feel better now we've got this out of the way, because yeah. I'm assuming, because I was thinking... He was brilliant. That must have been the best gig ever, and I bet you were thinking... And I, bet, I, I thought, I bet Josie can't wait to phone me and thank me and just say, that was fantastic. <laughs> Seriously, I was thinking... Well, I didn't, any, want, I didn't want to bother you. I know you're any a Any day person. now. Uh, you didn't want me. <laughs> I don't like phoning up on people's mobiles. And well, going, no, thank you, because you're busy all well, the you know, time. I'm never too busy to take a thank you call. Oh, right, I remember. Anyway, but it was a good gig, was it, apparently? It was on for nearly three hours. Oh, Imagine. well, that's too long. <laughs> no, it's not as far as Barry's concerned. Oh, I suppose and we stood it as three up gigs. all through. It was fantastic. And he played like loads of old stuff as well. Yeah, and ended with uh, Ziggy. Ziggy Blake. Yeah, that, was, that, that was it. Fantastic. Oh, marvelous. He's back, big time, isn't he? Did you like the new album, Heathen? You like yeah, that? fantastic. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's talk about this walk you're doing, Josie. Yeah. Because I know that's really why you've come in this morning. And I mean, also always... to say thank you. Good, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. very belatedly. <laughs> it's always lovely to see you, though. This is the, it's called Women's Great Walk of China. Yeah. And it's in aid of the charity Breakthrough Breast Cancer. Yeah, Breakthrough Breast Cancer. There's also a little bit of the money going to Plan International, oh, right, which okay. sponsors children all over the world. And my, my little girl came through the post today. I've got two of them. Of her. Have you? Well, one of them grew up. Kids do that, so oh, they just go, they allocate yeah. me another one. Who uh-huh. looks exactly like the first one, <laughs> so I don't feel sad. Oh, Very my thoughtful of her. Little Chinese girl too. She's called Yinglu, and I'm going to get a chance to meet her because she lives in a village in the mountains north of Beijing. And in September, I'll be there. Yeah. So well, I'm going to take her some dollies. Make sure that it's clear that you haven't come to take her away. Though. <laughs> oh gosh, yes. Hello, I bought you through Plan International. <laughs> <laughs> See, actually, I think I would be worried about meeting the ones that I love in case they thought I'd come to separate them. And then let's face it, they'd see. Look at their parents. Look at me. They'd want to come. I know, they would. <laughs> Next thing you me know. Me and all my finery, my European finery. You come there with beads. Yeah. Um, we're joking, of course. But really, it, it's for, the majority of the money goes to Breakthrough Breath Cancer. And, and uh, we're recruiting women, cos it's going to be a world first. I have been doing that for years. <laughs> so you're recruiting them to join you on the walk? or just Yeah, join you on the walk for 10 to 14 day stints. Moira Handley and Karen Churches are doing the entire walk. It's the wow. first time it's been done by... Women. So, no, where does the walk start? The walk starts it? beyond the Jade Gate in the Gobi Desert. Doesn't that sound beautiful? Yeah, doesn't it? And so, for the first two and a half months, I'm I'm bookending it. They're doing the entire seven months. I'm doing the first two and a half months and the last two months. It's a bit like the way they cast art in the West End. That's it. They get the celebrity in for the beginning and the end, and they put some no hopers in the middle. Yeah, no. <laughs> but no, we've got we've got lots of people coming on board, and I'm not doing it celebrity wise. I know, I know it needs me. You're doing but it. But I'm doing it like for me because I've always been a wuss and I've never. But it starts off. Two and a half months, and then two months in the mountains I'll be doing. So all in all, they'll be doing 4,000 kilometres. How many I'll months are they walking for, then? Seven months. You can't walk for... You'd go around the world three times. It's all you? very well organised. Charity Challenge has set up a, a Chinese uh, base camp team, medical team, Chinese guides. All taken care of. All taken care of. And if you... Um, I've got the website. Can I be boring? Please do. No, no, no. It's not boring. It's, it's, We're it's, genuinely it's, interested. It's, it's www.greatwalkofchina.org. O-R-G. Yeah, and that's to get women on board to, to walk with us. It's going to be the longest ever all-female relay wow. at the entire length of the Could Great Wall of I China. join it if I dragged up in much the same way that Bernard Breslar always dragged up to try and get into ladies' changing rooms? Yeah, you could. But, you know, if we found out, you know what women are like when they're together and they're <laughs> a bit hormonal and they're in the goby, they might do terrible things to you. They would probably they take there was down a man my there. trousers and give me a severe spanking. <laughs> Yeah. It is. Sick. I mean, it's all women. You know, you have to share your tents and yeah, stuff no, like I that. Yeah, no, I don't think it'll be but, good. To... Uh, It'd be lovely. That'd be a really nice sort of. Yeah. I would have thought a great atmosphere. I would yeah. have thought it's going to be fantastic. Cause it's all these different women. I mean, the, a couple of women who are joining us at the beginning. The, the one lady's reco- recovering from breast cancer, and she's doing it to prove to herself that she's better. But there's a whole mixture of people, and we've got 
lovely people sponsoring us because I wear specs normally. You're wearing contact lenses right now, then, presumably? Yes. Okay. And uh, I used to be the uh, spectacle wearer of the year. Have you ever been that one? No, I haven't. Well, I don't really wear, I wear lenses now. I've got my specs at home, ah. but you know, I'm so short sighted, I wouldn't be able to, you know, they wouldn't want. They I got really mine because I was in a thing called Outside Edge, Maggie, and I wore big red specs. Right, yeah, and so right. they said, you've made glasses sexy. But what I thought made me sexy was the fact that they'd give me a big paddy bra. Yeah, well, the, the two together are I irresistible. Suppose. Yeah, I suppose. But anyway, Inspects are giving me my specs and my sandstorm goggles. So you're not... Because presumably this is the Gobi Desert part of the, the walk, yeah? Yeah, the beginning. So you couldn't wear your lenses in the desert? No. It'd be no good I might wear them when we go out. We have little rest days. Or going out in the evening? Might go out in the evening on the pool. <laughs> Surely your feet will be too sore to go out in the evening, <laughs> are they? Well, we've got the, the medical team. It also involves a doctor that does acupuncture in that. It'd be quite nice of a night time, you know. Can I just point out, you don't need to take an acupuncturist with you to China. No, 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 he's Chinese. Johnny, he's going to be there. Oh, he'll be there anyway. He lives there. there. And also, if the women join up, yeah, they they, they send off to Charity Challenge. There's also a phone number here, which will be on your website, but it's 0208 557. Uh, zero, 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 zero. I didn't know how to say that then. You do it need your specs, weird. don't you? Even your lens in your computer. What's the number again? Challenge. It's 0208 557. Uh, zero, 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 zero. Yeah, that's it. All the zeros. All the zeros. And and then you get sent an information pack of how to join us. And uh, you get to Low Alpine, gives you a discount on your clothes, Air China, discount on your tickets, wow. and Field and Trek, discount on your boots. Here's a thought. Even if you don't want to walk, pretend you're walking, <laughs> you get a cheap holiday and discount clothing. Cheeky monkey. But that's not a bad idea, is it? But also, I know, it, because it's so soon, we're documenting it, I'm well, going to write a diary. When is it exactly? So it's, it's soon. It's That's in six April. weeks' time. April oh, wow. the 17th, so and have, it finishes in November. And have you been training for this? Do you do? Yeah, I've been walking with this group called Tough Mothers. You wear a heart monitor, and you have to walk. I've been walking around my local park. I walked with one of the walkers, Karen, all around London the other day uh, because we're walking about eight hours a day. So we did the wow. same thing that you do but in London. And do you know, I've never really walked in London. You know, we went down to Limehouse, then uh, across uh, the Wibbly Wobbly Walkie Bridge, yeah, down to the Abbey. Title, <laughs> the Wibbly Wobbly Walkie yeah, Bridge. That should be, that would be great if it was. They should have kept it wobbly. Put that down, yeah. really wobbly. They should have kept it wobbly. Uh, I would like to have been on it was wobbly. So you walked for eight hours around yeah. that roughly. And you Did know why that's great? You get to see the city. Because that's how Dickens, you know, basically researched his novels. You he just went for long, storming walks for like and, hours at a time. And you look up, you know? You know, I've never. You don't mm. look up when you're rushing about. And like I went to, so I looked around St Paul's and looked around the building, and there's a thing there called St Paul's Cross, and where where it used to be, it used to be like Speaker's Corner. Wow. People could come and say what they like. Isn't that fantastic? Well, I didn't know that. See, we are lucky enough to live in this wonderful city. Well, most of the cities in this yeah. country are great because they've got you know hundreds of years of history, and yet you don't see it, do you? No. You drive through you it in your car, okay. and it's beautiful. And banned cars. Okay. Man, is that your next? Thing? Walking and looking up. Very good. Found not walk, looking up when walking, p on the spot, fine. Is it let the madness begin or let gross. the madness stop here? Let the madness stop and then begin again, but in a slightly different way. Yes. Um, this walk sounds fantastic, though. I mean, you yeah. must be excited about it. It's nice, I would have thought, doing something for charity, but actually the chance of stretching yourself... I think I'm doing it for yourself. me as well. I mean, the, the letter asking if I'd... Because I've worked with Breakthrough for about 12 years, and uh, Charlie Dimmock's going to come as well in come September. Come on, hang on, hold on. <laughs> She's going in September. Yes. Yeah, right, so Charlie's doing part of the walk. <laughs> Unfettered, uh, an unfettered Dimmock walking on the Great Wall of China. Those yellow people won't know what's in them. <laughs> and my mate Brenda Bre Blethyn's interested She's a, isn't as well. she a lovely woman? She's fantastic. Yeah. And, and lots of my mates have sponsored me, like Tim Spool and Robert Bathurst. How much has Spool sponsored you for? I'm not telling you. How much has Bathurst sponsored you for? They've, they've been very kind. How, ge heard, how generous have I they been? I haven't heard back from some of my mates yet, I tell you. I'm going that's, to sponsor you, and I want to know how much they sponsor thing, you to know what John, the level is. I'm looking for someone, a little business or something, to actually sponsor my trick, because it's going to cost me eight grand, I think, uh, which I'll pay for myself if I don't get a sponsor, because I want everything I collect on my Just Giving site. To go through to, go to, to breast the charity. Cancer. Okay. So if, so you're if there's for a little business out there that says, let's sponsor our Josie, she, she, she'll wear the T-shirt. OK. Would you wear a hat? If I'd it, wear a hat okay. and comedy trousers. What's the... What's the what, OK, how far are we going to go here on this? I wouldn't what's... wear a miniskirt, because no I've miniskirt. had a dodgy knee, so I've got to wear a leg brace. OK. But you could wear a miniskirt and tights. Um, wear a miniskirt and tights. You know suppose. what? There's probably some people out there who find the idea of a miniskirt worn with a leg brace to be most arousing. It's quite a... Quite a you can find everything on the internet these quite days. Quite a pervy leg brace, actually. I like a leg brace on a lady. Yeah. <laughs> can I tell you what I find quite sexy? Go on. A neck brace. 
I know what you mean. Mm, there's something about it. The fact they can't turn away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what that means. Uh, Once again. So if there's a little business out there... So you'd wear a T-shirt, you'd wear yeah. a cat... Charity you'd wear challenge, maybe, phone yeah. up. I mean, eight grand, okay. if you're a millionaire. <laughs> but if you want to sponsor me just on the walk, then it's www.justgiving.com forward slash Josie Lawrence and everything in that website goes to... Break I'm break. going to go on that website, maybe this afternoon, maybe tomorrow, in between yeah. searching for other essential items, such as yeah. Japanese robots, and I will, <laughs> I'm going to donate something. Oh, you are Lovely. Not, not many. Not many people know about it yet. So www.justgiving.com, and yeah. then get it. Or greatwalkofchina.org if you want to join yeah. the actual march itself. Yeah. Um, and so the, the 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 people. How many people are you looking for all together? I mean, how many will be well, marching be together? Well, be kind at of like time? we've got so far like 150 women registered, right. and we can get much more than that. If we get about 300, we'd raise well over a million. Um, uh, but there's like groups of 10 and 15 because we're also working with. Um, the um, Wall Conservation Society over there. So there'll be a Chinese guide and there'll be bits of, of wall that are, are crumbling that you shouldn't walk on. We'll walk by the side of that. Right. I mean, the wall in the Gobi Desert, I've seen photos, isn't a wall. It's like a sand snake that goes through the sort of lunar landscape with little sandy turrets here and there. Right, it's, so it isn't really the big wall that no, we know. No, the, the big wall really... we think of is really only north of Beijing. It's exciting, isn't it exciting? I can't wait. See, we talk about the Great Wall of China. I've never. Oh, that would be horrible. No, I enjoyed it. I, I love having my, having a needle. Do you? Yeah, and I'm not really into. Where is, is it? In the arm or the bottom? I had arm, arm, rabies in my belly, and then two others in my bottom. You know what you've had there? Then you had milk, milk, lemonade round the back chocolates. I mate. know. I that's did, what you've had I? there. That's <laughs> that's what the doctors call it when you go in. <laughs> Term. I actually went out and did that to my wife this week, <laughs> and she said, "Do that to J Lo." <laughs> <laughs> you should have done. Milk, milk, lemonade, round the back, chocolates, mate. There's nothing offensive about that. <laughs> did you really hear her say that about you? Yeah. She oh, said bless. That. Well, it's fair enough. It's just, she has a very valid point. <laughs> I mean, I know people say it about me all the time, but normally I'm out of earshot. Well, I suppose if you're American, you might be a bit scary, you know. Yeah. I think I am a bit scary sometimes. I've got a big old face on me. And... I don't think it's your big old face. Your face is adorable. <laughs> I think it's uh, full on your wit. It's not so much weird, it's just a level of noise, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it is, actually. Yeah, it's like static. Yeah, yeah you're right. I'm Constant. sitting near a giant mobile phone that's yeah. ringing. That's what I'm like. Um, <laughs> the knee, though, you heard, you, you've done your knee I in, had kiosk, But you know what? There's a silver line into everything. I had to go... I, I was walking and walking and walking, and then this old ski injury I had flared up, and the surgeon said, you've, you've torn your cruciate. Ooh. I can't have anything done about that yet because I wouldn't be able to walk. Ooh. That's why I'm wearing the brace. That sounds bad, whatever it is. But I've torn my... I tore my cartilage off so much Ooh. that it was floating around inside. Oh. And and but you know what? Where the heart is, you know that program where the heart is. Yes. I had to do my operation, and I thought, well, I had to pay for it because I had to get it done quick. Where the artist found up said, "Would Josie like to play a manic depressive wood woman who was bedridden?" And that was three <laughs> days after the op. <laughs> Isn't Perfect. that brilliant? Paid for me op, and I laid in bed and worked at the same time. <laughs> Perfect timing. Yeah. You see, there is a god. Yeah. Let's have a, another burst of music because we'll, well, I guess we'll be heading towards the home stretch then. Yeah. Um, what's this, Andy? It's a new single by a band called Grand Drive. Is this a good thing to end nearly the show? We've got one more after this. Oh, OK. We're talking to Wendy Lawrence here on Radio <laughs> Show. That's your real name, isn't it, Wendy? It's my real name. Equity wouldn't let me be Wendy. Wendy's... I like Wendy. I do, too. I, I still answer to Wendy. Wendy's a nice With name. my family in that. Or Josie's Wend. a nice name, though. You're really, Josie's my auntie. You're name. a really nice person. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I try to be. No, I just wanted to say that, because you are, because, you know, I know I was telling you off earlier, and obviously your manners need some work, but you are a really nice person. <laughs> yeah. Just Thank in case you. your mum's listening, You're it's nice to hear. Nice as well. I'm nice sometimes. And Some, nice. I have a mum as well, I'm not so nice. I can be. Yeah, you can be. And do you know what? It, it's no bad thing to be nice, is it? I mean, it's a great thing. Number five mean, on the list. Be nice. Be nice, nice. exactly. This Big mean life that we lead now. Be mean nice, though. Game shows and all uh, that. No, it's no, nice it's not, to be nice. It's nicer to be nice. But then yeah. if we had a nice show, people probably wouldn't march with them. Exactly. Well, I've done plenty of those. How much did Tim Spall sponsor you? I'm not telling you. Let me guess, 1,000. I'm not. I can't tell you. Five hundred. I reckon a thousand. No, she's going. She wouldn't tell us if that's just going like that. She Robert Barthes. He's very good. He's a, he is a lovely man. And Brian May and Anita, they've sponsored me. Oh, he's got a few quid. Oh, blind me. He could go they've for a walk with those great. cards. <laughs> they've they've all been great. No. But some of my mates uh, haven't uh, replied yet. So haven't if they're replied. listening, yeah, yeah. send me that check. 
Marked breakthrough breast cancer. Thank you very breakthrough much. Breakthrough breast cancer. In return for it, do you get anything? Do you get anything back? I'd, give you, <laughs> I'd, I'd say, say thank you. No, it's not, yeah, well, you say, yeah, you say that now. I'd say thank you and I'd put you on my T-shirt. I'm going okay. to write the names of all, all my sponsors on That's my good. T-shirt. Okay. So we're looking for a small firm to sponsor you, ideally. Yeah, just, um, just for the trek itself. It needn't be a big firm. It could yeah. be like a small local roofer. Little local roofers. Something like that. You I'd know. wear a, like a roof-shaped hat. <laughs> yeah. John's video. <laughs> John's yeah. video. Blockbusters, uh, you could have the word block, block and, buster and buster on <laughs> alternate breasts. And yeah. when you move, if Claire Dimmock were to say blockbuster. Charlie. Charlie. Well, Charlie, Claire, that's her real name, Claire. She's Wendy, that's Claire, didn't you know that? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know them all well. Yeah, of course. Um, listen, We've got it's going to go. be a big... <laughs> He's bossy, isn't We've he? got time, just because you want to play your short track, hang around. I like to play the music up to you. You've got to be just... played in full, because it's two oh, minutes. Two see. minutes, 13. 13. Well, listen, jo- Josie, good luck on the, the Thank walk. Thank you. Josie's going to walk the Great Walk of China, part of it. If you want to join in, if you'd like to, if you're a woman who'd like to take part, go to www.greatwalkofchina.org, and if you'd like to give to Josie or to any of the women who are doing this terrific march in, it, in, yeah. uh, to help breast through break thing, cancer <laughs> thing and the other <laughs> charity, justgiving.com. Just <laughs> yeah, okay. that's it. Very nice. Josie, thank you for coming in. Thank you very and much. And the music you were so desperately keen for us to get to. Elvis Costello, New Amsterdam. What's wrong with that? Good choice.